Well, my guests today say they're in love and don't care what anyone has to say. Please meet Teresa. Now, she says her family won't let her be with the one she loves. Teresa, what's going on? Hi, Jerry. I'm here today because when I was 13, I lost my virginity to my cousin. What? And whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you were... Jerry, I don't care what they think, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marry him today, and I don't care. You, wait, wait, wait. You lost your virginity to your cousin? When I was 13. Your blood cousin? Yeah. And... Jerry, I don't care. And now you're going to marry him? Yes, I am. I got a baby with him, a six month old oh. baby. <laughs> what does the baby look like? He is a beautiful baby, Jerry. He no. looks just like me. Oh, beautiful. He so, does. Uh, well, well, wait a second. You don't need me to tell you you're not supposed to sleep with your cousin. Hey, you know, when we was growing up, man, he lived in Tennessee. I lived in Ohio, 500 miles away. Yeah. They was putting us in bed together. Wait, if you lived in different I, our states, parents, that when must we be would, one big bed. Jerry, when we when we would go to visit, on family visits, oh, I see. So when they you went put to... us in bed together. Yes. And I don't know what they expected two teenagers to do in bed together. Well, if you're your cousin, you don't 500 sleep. 500 miles away, I don't see him as my cousin. I only see him once a year, you know. I'm tired of it. Yeah, but it's, 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 not, it's not based on distance. It's based on blood. I don't see him as blood, Jerry. I've, I've went through this for like 10 years now, and I'm going to marry him today. What did the family say when you... What, for, did the My fam parents hate it. His mom, she hates it. She I says that why. we are yeah. not getting married. Well, we are getting married today. Yeah, now, uh, you don't mind about losing the rest of your family? No, I don't, because he's good to my kid, he's good to me, and I don't see a problem with it. Like so I said, if your son grows up and says he wants to marry his cousin, that's okay? You, yeah, You're going to tell I, if they live 500 miles apart okay, from they... each other, you, I'm not going to stick my kid. I ain't going to stick my kid in the bed with his cousin, you know? That's wrong. Yeah, but, well, okay. <laughs> am I right okay. or am I, you know, am I right or All am right. I wrong? Okay, but if that's wrong, you're admitting that that's wrong. Well, it's not wrong no So more, now Jerry. you're old enough Look, to know that it's but wrong. But we fell in love. How are we supposed to stop it? You say, gee, I love you, but I love you as a cousin. We're not sleeping no, together. That's how you I do it. I don't love him as a cousin. I lo he's my fiance. He's my boyfriend. We're going to get married. He's going to raise this baby because it's his baby. He's going to do the right thing. He's going to stay off, you know. He's going to come home with me. He's coming home with me today. But what chance does does your son have of growing up when his parents are cousins? Well, you know, I lied to my parents, and I told my parents that he belonged to somebody else. But I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of hiding it. Today it's coming out. He's coming home with me. Oh, great. So now your kid's going to go grow up. The kids are going to tease him in school. He's always going to know that... Nobody's going to know, really. I mean, oh, they you don't know? get to see this show. <laughs> So I'm going to ask all of you not to tell anyone, okay? <laughs> hey, I trust y'all, yeah. okay? Look. Okay. So how did, uh, now, how did his mom get to find out that But his were, mom came was, and visited like two yeah. weeks ago to see the baby. Yes. They came up, and she was telling me, oh, the baby looks so much like JR, you know? Well, we got to drinking, and I told her, I said, well, the baby is JR's. And I, she went off. She was like off the hook. Imagine that. She was like, you whore, you slut. She's like, I don't know what's wrong with you two. Well, she well, thought, I mean, you... hey, you know what? She said that she thought we'd grow out of it. Well, how are we going to grow out of it? We growed into it, not out of it. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, uh, are you going to have another kid? No, I'm done with kids. I got, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not having no more kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no more. Well, that's good. At least he won't sleep with his My sister. son is awesome, you know. I love him to death, but... They are too much work. God, you just joined us. We're talking here with Teresa. Teresa obviously looks all ready to get married. Problem is, she's she wants to marry her blood cousin, uh, who she first started sleeping with when she was 13. And uh, well, yeah, is that the first time you slept together when you were 13? Yeah, I lost yeah. my virginity to him. Yeah, well, I would hope. I mean, <laughs> I would hope that no one beat him to it uh, <laughs> at 13. Uh, so there you go, and you have no remorse. You you just say you love you, you don't. I love him. I'm gonna be with him. I don't you know I don't care. Mm. I mean Betty found out. She called me a slut. She called me a dirty. Okay, whore. Betty Lou is his mother. Yeah, your she's aunt. my aunt. Yeah, your aunt. So okay, she is your aunt, and you told she just found out a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, she did like two weeks ago, Jerry.
Okay, so you what? You're sitting at a bar there, and you. Yeah, we was drinking a little bit, and she yeah. said how much that my son looked like Jr. And I told her, I said, "Well, it is Jr.'s baby." She called me a dirty slut. She called me yeah. a dirty whore. Yeah. She left. She went off, <laughs> and she stole my man, and I wanted him back. She stole your man. Yeah, she did. She took him back to Tennessee. Oh, oh okay. She's and, not sleeping with him. Yeah, well, I, you know. No. I hope not. <laughs> Cause we got a show next week. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, she we're, is. There's gonna be even more problems for real. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll let you talk with her now. Here is your aunt, the mother of the man you want to marry, whose baby it is. That's right. Did I get it right? Okay. Got it right. Here's Betty Lou. You're such a slut, you sleep with anything. Well, now, all right, you didn't know about, you didn't know about the baby until a few weeks ago, but did, did you have any knowledge that they were sleeping together? No. This is all new to you about that. Since he never, he never <laughs> said that, gee, I really care about my cousin, and you started to suspect about the way it was. No. Does then why was we put in bed together all them years? Does he have other kids? Teresa, you were kids. <laughs> 13 and 14 and 15, that ain't kids no more. <laughs> That's horny ass teenagers. Oh, do, now, does he have any other girlfriends? Sure. So he does go out with other girls. Yeah. She goes out with other guys. What, well, what is this about? I thought you loved him. Because we're tired of hiding it. Okay, yeah, we've went out with other people, but what else are we supposed to do? We tried other relationships, but they ain't. Let's bring out JR. My child. Hold on one man. second. One, two, three, four, Everyone. five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. She's your cousin. You're good Tell at her, security. JR. Tell her what's going on. With cousin. With her. Her. First cousin, you this single old love. son of a bitch. This is the mother of my you child. You are tall better. I am raising my child. You are tall better, JR. You're a sicko! What's wrong with me raising my child? 
But you're sleeping with your cousin. You know that's wrong. No? You wouldn't want your kid sleeping with his cousin. Well, what about when this kid grows up, marries its sister? <laughs> well, this is a strange story here. We have uh, Teresa and JR who want to get married. They have a six-month-old uh, little boy. Uh, so it sounds like a happy story until you find out that they are blood cousins. And Betty Lou here, who is JR's mom, uh, JR, what do you want to say to your mom? She's obviously shocked. She finds out a couple of weeks ago that you have been sleeping with your cousin and, you, and you're the father of her baby. How dare you say that the woman I'm love and got a kid with and trying to raise a kid right is sleeping with other men? You dumbass, you watched her. <laughs> The doorbell. I got an idea. I'll get it. Who's it? If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.